Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2, everyone's favorite African colonizer game from 2010. In which we are currently at war with Benin, which actually, that was one of the comments from yesterday, in which we, as the Netherlands, should continue colonizing more of Africa. And some people also want me to go down and take out, you know, British South Africa eventually. Uh, of course, I think I said in the last episode as well, New, New York, or New Amsterdam really. So, we'll get there, we'll get there eventually. But we do have a little thing up top here at the screen. To embrace the Flemish. Now, we may not want to do this, but I think it's probably for the best. The Dutch made several mistakes when dealing with the Flemish. The Protestant-Catholic divide and political ostracization, among other things, led to the Belgian Revolution. It's time we try and repair a relationship, implement effective freedom of religion, and give them equal rights. Oh, equal rights. Bowing down to them will dent our international prestige, but it allows us to live in peace. Once again, luckily we do have more than enough prestige. We lose some, but we get Flemish as an accepted culture. So now we actually get literally two more um, national focuses, foci. So, which is actually really nice, because we're almost done building bureaucrats up here in Valonia, as well as in the Rhineland, which is going to take some more time. But, let's go put some more bureaucrats here. And, other than that, we're looking pretty good. I'm, I would like to get some bureaucrats down here as well in El Salvador, or what once was El Salvador. Because I'd like to get more Flemish here, some more other people here, down here as well. But, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Even though we could probably... Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking I want to colonize, or at least maybe make a place like this, Aruba. Wait, is that where Aruba is? That's Aruba! Oh, that's kind of cool. We do have a lot of Dutch here. We actually... Well, we technically already do have a lot of these guys already. And I... At the time of me talking right now, I might literally have a cat on my lap. Uh, nope, no, no hands. Nope. Anyways, um... And we'll continue to take out the African states as well, because... Who doesn't love Africa? Who doesn't love Africa? Uh, let's see. Where do we want to put our guys? We can put them up here. Maybe we can encourage more capitalists up here. Because, you know, Friesland... Oh, we're still the Liberal Party. Gosh darn it, we're the Liberal Party. Oh, man. Um, you know what? Capitalists. Let's sort by capitalists. Zealand? Alright, maybe... It is, of course, 1872. Getting bureaucrats in any place might not be for the best idea. Screw it. Uh, put some capitalists here in Zealand. We love the capitalists. Love them, love them, love them. Alright, let's move on in. And have a good old time. And, man, we siege him fast. And we're doing counter-revolution and counter-revolution currently as well, which is very nice. Wow, that was... We do have an engineer, so that's what makes it so quick. So quick. And we're still summoned to the world, which is pretty nice. And, oh, well, now we're not... Now we're not longer quick. Oh, Colombia. Oh, UK. Wow, we're not making a lot of money. Gosh dang, we don't like the Liberal Party. They don't make us a lot of money. We can't tax poor people. Guys. Guys. A uh, Brick St. Gentleman's Club? Oh, I love Gentleman's Club. Shadowy Cabals in my Netherlands? No one wanted to help out these Africans down here. Alright. Oh, thank you, Africa. We love Africa. Now we gotta decide where to go to next. So, because we're in the Liberal Party, it takes us actually quite a bit longer because we're anti-military for our war policy, which is kind of unfortunate. That's why I like to switch to the Nationalist Party because they have jingoism. Actually, yeah, jingoism, uh, well, I guess technically the anarcho-liberal party is pretty good as well because they do have full citizenship. But, I think it's time we go to war. But first, we'll do Dutch Indochina. With the colonial government taking form in Saigon, Dutch administrators have advised elevating the region to a full department, clearly with odds on expanding Dutch colonial rule to the neighbors in Southeast Asia. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Great Cambodian protectorate. Fearing invasion by the Siamese, the Cambodians have requested that we allow them to join the Dai Viet in protecting our, na by our nation. We didn't get infamy. Production in Cambodia. Now that Cambodia is fully in our hands, the opportunity to shift its production out of agriculture for the internal market to an exportation-driven model was put forth by several Dutch companies in Amsterdam. Discussions began with several companies putting forward proposals on what to focus and what to incentivize. From the jungles of Southeast Asia, a new era for agriculture and the Cambodia provinces are dawning. One where rice and rubber will play a pivotal role, but one that we can steer. Nice. Companies know what to do. Tropical wood, tea, tobacco... Well, we don't need to interfere with the natives. Yeah, we could probably piss them off anyways. Let's see. Um, what is tobacco, wood, rubber, all that stuff like? Wow. Oh, fuel's in high demand. Oh, oil's pretty good. Tropical wood is kind of... Eh, it's kind of up there. That's not too bad. How about tobacco? Raw materials. We love cotton. Wood dyes. Silk, coal, and rubber. Rubber is really nice as well. Uh, consumer... Oh, wait, oh, wait, no. I guess tobacco is a consumer good. Yeah, rubber, rubber, and tropical woods way to go. 
Mm, I like coffee, though. Coffee doesn't know what it's best to do, though. We'll totally go with that. And let's go ahead on into these guys. We'll have to go to war with Mossy as well, but that's alright. Thank you very much. We'll take you. Head on in. We have a lot of small little armies here, just because I want to make another African army. Which I think it would do very nicely for us. Good, good, good. And head on down here, too. If you can. Ah, oh, so fast, man. So fast. Come over here and take them out if you do, please. Okay, not bad. And I guess communism was founded here, too. Actually, we did found the third, first, first international. So you just killed 3,000 African soldiers of ours. You're all going to die then. I don't, know, I don't know who was built, so we'll go with that one then. Just in case. Oh, they didn't come in the war. Nice. That means we can go to war with them next as well. Very, very good. Kill them all off because they killed off 3,000 of our own guys. Very good. Very good. Head on to Ibadan. I would like to cut down some infamy some more just because it's already 1874. Eventually we won't be able to attack anybody else. So now we'll just keep on plugging along, taking out other people first. Social science has come along very nicely, very quickly. And women's suffrage movement, mobilization effect. All right. All right, they're done. Nice. Too bad they did kill off quite a few guys, and you deserve to die. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And do we have a little bonus for taking out anyone here? You guys, do we get a... No, we don't. Can't just fight against pubs and war states, but not bad. Actually, Burma. Established protectorate? Oh. Oh, man, that'd be really good. If we can take that away, because the UK usually likes to get that, right? We, ooh, Japan might want them too, so we might risk going for them. Ooh, and the Kingdom of Josen is in the sphere of the Japanese. Oh, boy. Ooh, naval port, sure. Why not? Let's see what we can do against Burma next. All right, so we're not quite there yet with Burma. But I did want to show you that we did get, unfortunately, we made child labor un illegal. But at least the kids can learn a little bit more, I guess. And we have better immigrant attraction. I guess people, immigrants, want the children to, you know, learn instead of work in factories. So be it. Also, I guess we do a string of subsidies as well. Huh. And limited safety regulations. Low health care. We're looking pretty good here. Uh, but as you see on screen, Germany is uh, in a little bit of a conflict right now. Uh, they finally went back to war with the Austrians and the Bavarians. Overall, they're going to win probably pretty darn well. So, oh, they're allied with the Ottomans. I think we'll help out, so, but let's f search for the Aegean Civilization's interest. Has been growing in the academic community about the fate of the so-called Aegean Civilizations, and especially the location of the ancient city of Troy. Funding researchers to scour Greece and Anatolia for the remains of these civilizations, and making sure that our education spending is high, will increase the prestige of our nation if they find the treasures of the ancient world. Lose a little bit of money. Actually, I think it's time to switch to another party, just because we can't make any money, but... Let's see. Oh, women's suffrage? Do we do we believe in that? The idea of women's suffrage increasingly gained traction in Western society throughout the 19th century. First advocated in the writings of early liberal philosophers such as England's Mary Wollstonecraft or John Stuart Mill, the idea and ideology of women's suffrage gradually developed as the century wore on into a coherent ideology in its own right, feminism. The experience during the First World War of women working in factories and other jobs previously reserved for men during peacetime is often said to have been a crucial pivot point in securing women's right to work, vote, and other fields of society achieve legal equality with men. Which some might say this was the first equity, but that's neither here nor there. All I want to do is make a lot of babies. Well, this, that does lower militancy and uncle, which is actually pretty good to get, so. Uh, rich vote kind of hurts, but whatever. Geneva Convention? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, we can go to... We need to get these guys. Look at that. Have a truce with them. The last of the war in the last five years. Oh, we need to get them in our sphere of influence. Then we can annex these guys. Oh, that's actually really good. I like that a lot, actually. All right, but we'll help the Germans out. I don't mind helping the Germans on this one. That's fine. Even though it does hurt me a little bit. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Up next. You know what? Let's get another army thing, maybe? We do need some paddle steamers, but... Let's get machi some machine guns. We definitely need that. Because when we come over to Revolution, Counter-Revolution, we need the Dark Continent, which does have to be after... Either 1890 or afterwards. And we need to have the Call of Congo Conference. Let's see. We need military logistics, steel steamers. So, military logistics and steel steamers, which is important. I think machine guns needed that. Military logistics and steel steamers. So, either one of these we really much have to go through. So, let's go with military logistics first, just because we already are using the military, the army. So, I think that'd be for the best. Okay, Liberal Party. You're cool and all, but you're just not strong enough. We love the Nationalist Party because we can tax people. We can make sure that we put enough appropriate measures on people as well. Well, look at that. Um, oh, oh, went a little high. That's okay. 
can actually make there we go we can actually make a little bit of money here i don't mind subsidizing just a little bit maybe not too much but just a little bit el salvador uh actually no open that one back up Ooh, there you go you can do something like that doesn't really matter to me uh flanders is fine we're not going to leave that Friesland, subsidize them anyways because you can we just need to make a little bit of money here just a little bit and make sure our industry is running very efficiently well a little bit of protectionism doesn't hurt i guess there you go there you go too. nice we actually have some money and combine those ships and if we want to get involved we can i don't want to hurt our soldiers really so germany should have this under wraps now if france comes in and gets involved then we're kind of screwed we should do okay wow look at our military fifth in the world of course, then again, if people are killing each other, it kind of helps out, helps us helps us out. So, nice twenty-seven thousand. Do we have any more divisions being made around here? Maybe not. We do need one more engineer here. So, thank you. Very nice. Um. Well, I guess we're going to go to Bavaria. Wait, that's, this Bavaria is over here. El Hayabron. And just in case, we're going to keep one army. And, uh, yeah, keep you guys in, in the capital, just in case. That'd be important. Uh, yeah, you guys stay there. Where are you guys at? Yeah, don't do that either. Wait to see what's gonna happen. I wonder if we can take out those guys up there. There you go. Let's get a little bit of army XP. Well, it doesn't really matter. I guess general experience. All right. Oh, Germany. What did you do? Oh, okay. That's fine. German aggression. Okay. I'm just worried about that. France might get involved. So there you go. Nice. All right. Ooh, come down here then. Oh, we're defending. Nice. Oh, there go the Bavarians. Help them out. Not too bad. Constitutional crisis. That happens because we switch our parties. Whatever. The people don't know what they really, truly need. But look at that. Nice. Alright, so we already got a good, great school system. We got illegal child labor. We got all the allowed rights. I mean, we're looking very progressive here. I, would, I always like doing this one, too. Rehabilitation. We get to assimilate people. What do people want? Because I don't want them to be too pissed off at us. Low minimum wage. Well, let's give them transportation first, and then next time we'll give them some low minimum wage. Unfortunately, I already just finished my coffee, too, so... Oh, are you out of the war or something? There you go. Kind of hanging out. Oh, you're going to get attacked, aren't you? Yep. They're attacking. Help them out. Cut down those Austrians. We, I want a very strong uh, Germany. At least help us for a while. Hmm. That was extremely costly, too. That's not good. Um, by yourself, you might be able to take them out. Maybe not. Maybe, oh, that might have been a mistake, but maybe not. Nice. More score. That's pretty good. And they're headed to Erfurt. No, 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 no. Hey, nice. Let's statistics next. Goodbye. We don't have a lot of organization, but that should be good enough. There you go. Now, just kind of hang out and sit, sit down. Because our guys are looking somewhat depleted right now. Um. Oh, Italy's in the war too. Look at that. Thanks, Italy. Italian liberation of Venetia. Venetia. Yeah, I don't think the Austro-Hungarians can do too much now. They have 77 versus 475, and another 123. Not bad. Also, we are allied with Germany. If you didn't know that, <laughs> we are allied with Germans. Uh, actually, we're allied to the U.S. as well. At least we were. No, we still are. Right? Yeah, we're still allied with them. So. I'd say that's pretty good. We, we got rid of the UK and I got Germany, basically. Wait. Did they peace out? Oh my god, guys. Guys. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Why did you peace out with them like that? You dinguses. Um, that's okay. We'll get another artillery piece here then. Artillery. Oh, good. It's Dutch artillery too, which is better. Nice. I don't want to sacrifice our guys over there, though. Our guys don't need to heal up, so... Head on over here. Why not? Not bad. Not bad. Oh! They got it. What the heck? Oh, Bel Belarus is here, too. Look at that. Huh. Alright. Very cool. There you go. You guys do that. 
and they admit hegemony. So Italy's still technically fighting. Their art spheres are over there. Um, well, Belarus is here. Might as well help them out, right? Germany might form. Ooh, what is this incident? Our relations with Bangkok soared over disputes over control of Laos. One of our diplomats was killed on the way from Luang Prabang to Bangkok, and the central government sent ships to negotiate with the Ratanokosin king. Conflict arose with two Dutch ships, a sloop, and a gunboat, who ordered her to sail up the Chao Praya towards Bangkok without the permission of the Siamese. They came under fire from the port at Pang Nam in 1875. The Dutch returned fire and forced their way to Bangkok. With guns trained on the Grand Palace in Bangkok, the Dutch delivered an ultimatum to the Siamese to hand over their territory to withdraw their garrison there to pay an indemnity of $2 million in rep reparation for the fighting at Pak Nam and to punish those responsible for the killings in disputed territory. We will see this through. Uh, Forces of Armament. Um, that one's okay. They're technically... Oh, are they in the sphere of anybody? They're technically independent. Um, mm, we could try it, I guess. But if this goes poorly, then we won't do it then, probably. Cut down to size. I don't really want to cut down to size, I'll be honest. I really don't want to. But we do have the thing over here, don't we? Let's see, which one was it? It's on the Geneva Convention, Africa, Malaysia. Machine guns we need. Sarawak, annex these guys. Have a truce with them. I guess we do need a truce, so let's see what happens. They seem to have some rebels. Cut down to size, that's fine. How dare you hurt us. Can actually do well over here as well. Maybe boost this up a little bit more. Oh, we were at like half strength, huh? All right, we should be able to siege him down pretty quickly. Hopefully, no one gets involved. Oh, look at that! Nice. Let's head on over here. Oh, trusty system. If you like about that, please go right ahead because we were us before. Uh, this sounds all rather dreary. Yeah, you know, that's that's probably a little better to do for now. Hey, we found him in the mountains, even though there's some mountains. We should have a little bit more morale anyway, so. Cut down to size, you son of a gun. Actually, how are the divisions doing? Oh, we're only eighth in the world for industry, which is not great. Oh, you guys are hanging out? Let's hang out over here. How about that? Belarus is still there. Anything else? They need to go to war with the, the French. Are you guys done yet? Do you want peace? Oh, we need 50. Wow. That's not good. The longer we're at war, the fast, the sooner someone might be able to come in and intervene in this war, which is not very good for us. No Mexico. And what do we, can we do? Portugal. Nice. There you go. And head on north. Oh, that's going to be kind of a more difficult battle to fight. Maybe. Oh, we're not doing that great. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was a mistake to do. But now they're dropping like flies, kind of. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, head on, uh, where are you guys headed to? There? Uh, let's head on down here then. Let's recover some of our guys. People who should be free to drink, probably? There you go. Oh, um... Better pay their debts from here on out. America! Thank you. Oh, austria hungary's below the Japanese, look at that. That's us. Lots of good relations all around. Ooh, what is this? Galilee Influence? Sure, why not? We'll lose some money. Oh, and here we go. Alright, so I did say we would give him minimum wage. So there you go. You can have a good minimum wage. So let's not attack back up there again. You guys come down. Just go here. And then come over here. Nice. Now let's get some military logistics. Way more supply consumption, which sucks, but that's all right. This is Grassland Hills, which should be pretty easy to take out, but we'll see. You know what? Screw it. They don't have a lot of morale. Just attack them anyways. And they should die pretty darn quickly with no morale. And there you go. Hijaz? God dang, UK. You love, you love taking out other people. So do we, though. So do we. Oh, they took the area over, huh? Uh, take the, take out the capital first. Or go there first. Go there first. Alright. Is that 11 divisions sieging down that area, huh? Alright. Oh, Empire of Mexico has rebels. What else is new? It's Mexico. 
Alright, you should be giving up soon, right? Yep. There you go. Nah, let's cut him down to size, and we can annex these guys. And we might get some infamy, but that's okay. With the end of the last war of Siam, we are in a position to demand their Cham Pasak Daslon annex into our colony in Indochina. Ah, we got the infamy. Darn, that sucks. Anything else? No, overall. Not too bad, and maybe we should go to war with Burma right next. Well, we can go to war with Burma now. But as you can see, well, Germany is... Or it's the Russians who wanted to have Eastern Syria from the Ottomans, who called in the Germans, and the Romanians, and Baden, and Carlos Spain, and Tunis. So it's Russia, and her allies, and the French. And Germany is now like, hey, bro, you want to come in? And I'm like, no, I don't. I really don't. Because I want to go to war with Burma. So let's see what happens when we go to war with... Oh, Burma is in... Oh, that's fear, huh? Uh, we might call in our allies in as well. The North German Federation will not accept Italy, and America will. So we'll do that one first. We're going to go to war with Burma. We're going to come into the war here as well. And I'm going to call in America just because we can. Because we love America. Call our ally in. Yes, please. Italy, where are you at? Because I'm going to call in Italy too. Because why not? Uh, Sweden, would you like to come into our wars? Yes. Just in case. I want to build us up as much as possible here before we have to end up going to war with the Japanese, maybe. Chile, no. Alright, let's see what happens. Italy, America. So, if they want to go to war with us, you know, they can. But that's probably not going to be in their interest. And now we're at war with the French as well, so. Go die, French people. Go die. And they're blockading us, whatever. Our ships aren't really that great, so. Nice. And begin sieging them down. 6,000 more French people are dead. There you go. And also, I'm not too worried about this war against uh, the Russians and the French. Just because the Russians, as you can see, well, they're not looking so great. They got quite a few rebels. They got quite a few socialists in Russia, so it is what it is. Nice. Battle of Luxembourg. Nice. Oh, actually, we... M Could we demand Artois? Actually, don't we have a decision for that? Yeah, claim Artois. We need to have an absolute monarch. Oh, or fascist dictator. Oh my goodness, we can't do that one. We can't claim all of it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. We're supposed to stay in. I guess we've got to push for fascism then. All right, absolute monarchy or fascism, either one. I'm okay with either one right now. Oh, all right, very good. Take him up, please. Thank you, thank you. Battle Trier, very nice, very nice. Oh, uh, what happened over here? Oh, military access. No one cares. Mexico. Now we're good. And we should have military logistics done very, very soon. Like right now. Awesome. And we got that done. Let's... Oh, machine guns would be really good to get as well, though. We definitely need machine guns. Let's do that one. And then we'll try to gun for steel steamers. Ooh, you maybe help out down here, too. We're gonna fight for a country. You bet we are. Nice. Very nice. Cool. Keep doing what you're doing. We're doing quite well. And we're doing quite well here as well. Nice. Uh, let's take out all these little areas first. We're trying to make another army up here too, so we'll see what happens. And uh, this, this part of the field is probably a little bit more important to do real quick. The Germans are just slaughtering the French. At, at least it appears like that. Guys, guys, please don't attack my own territory. I know it's dry, supposed to be part of the middle ground here, but... If you're in defense, bolster those defenses, son. Bolster those defenses. Nice. Help them out. Oh, yeah. The Ottomans are doing well down there as well. And we're here. And we'll come up there, too. Nice. Good, good, good. Mm, let's not attack there yet. I guess they're also down here. Uh, they're going to lose that battle anyways. There's no point to come in there. Uh, let's wait. Let's go around. And Belarus. Belarus. Oh. How's that battle going up here? It's going quite well, I would say. Nice. Up and out over here, too. Oh! Peace! Oh, what happened? Acquire... Wow. You know, you'd think that the Germans would want alsace Serene, but I guess not. I think we do quite well. Then again, if you let Germany do most of the heavy lifting, we do quite well. And don't want to forget about this army down here as well. Pretty good, pretty good. Come up there, Leewarden, or come to the Moor as we finish off the Burmese. Very nice. And in the capital, Belarus. Sure, why not? 
Well, at least the French were beaten again. They really don't want to form Germany, though. But you know what? It is what it is. Also, off screen, like, we got a little event to take out the rest of Laos after we won against Siam. We got the rest of Laos. So, it wasn't really anything special. I don't know if we... We might have taken an infamy hit. We might not have. So, we, we got Laos. And there was another comment for me to take out more of southern China, which we probably will try to. So, oh, no. Liberals got into power. Oh, they're going to ruin the economy. Oh, this is a different liberal party. It's a Catholic party. Oh, the budget. Oh, no. Why can't I tax poor people? All right. Can we just piece you guys out? There we go. And that did not lower the infamy. God dang it, we should have waited. Alright, that's not too bad. Dutch Asia is looking pretty darn nice, I would say. I wonder if there's any way we can take out... Ooh. Liquor Prohibition. Oh, well, okay. Okay, Artois, Vietnam. Um, there's nothing else here, really. I'm di I just wish we could uh, take out... I'll create Malaysia, I guess, technically. but Or protection, because it has to be 1888, which is going to be like 10 more years. If we want to take out this kingdom, I guess we demand to take them out ourselves, which is going to suck, but it won't be too bad. And now we're back to Africa, my friends, and to the land of Sokoto, which should be the second last time we need to go to war with these guys. Uh, we should do pretty darn well. Should do pretty darn well, but you never know. And we're researching currently paddle steamers, and actually off screen, did we get one more? I think we went to incarceration as well for our penal system reforms. Not bad. And let's be this guys up. Oh, all of them came in. That kind of sucks. Which means we can't go to war with Mossy next, which is kind of disappointing. But well, that's alright. That's quite alright. And we got those guys. Very nice. Head on in. Very cool. Portugal. Portugal. Where is Portugal? There you are, my friends. Welcome to my sphere. Yeah, guys. No. Down with you guys. Ooh, we got two more defense. Look at that. With uh, machine gun armaments. Very good. Goodbye, natives. Wow, look at a lot of them right there. Nice. Skoto's ours. Very awesome, 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 awesome. And let's see if we can piece them out after we get this tile too. We got a lot of roads here too. Look at that. Nice. All right, let's see. Can we piece them out again? No. The war leader, Mossy? No, not yet. Well, all right. Well, your country will continue burning until you all die. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. Nice. Still steamers. Oh, we can get this. Actually, let's grab this one first, just because it's going to take time for us to build up all those places. And it's going to take a lot of money to build up those places as well. So it's probably best to wait and build them up. Now you want peace. Jeez, why did you reject me at first? Why did you reject me the first time, guys? That makes no sense. Uh, but I love having the Africans within our army because it gives us so many more boys that we can conscript into our military. Alright, everyone. So it looks like we can do another reform. And now people want more minimum wage? Well, the thing is, we pretty much have everything else that I really want here. I don't mind doing that. Uh, immigrant attraction, all this stuff is really nice and all, but nothing really here will help us out too much. I mean, obviously we want to get acceptable health care, but we need invented gas lights first. Unlimited workday, minimum wage wouldn't be too bad. Anything else here? One of these does actually quite well for us. Let's see, pension levels, factory maintenance. So, eh, I'll go minimum wage, that's fine for now. People want the reforms, we'll give it to them. We don't want them to be too pissed off. But we can go back to war with Morocco. Why? Because we can. Hopefully no one else goes to war with us. Uh, I'll rift Marrakesh is nicer to have right now, so. Head on in. See what we can do. Hopefully no one else interviews in our war. Oh, and we just got off a Moroccan boat. Very nice. Safi? The discovery of Troy. Oh, okay, then. In excavating this wall further, and directly by the side of the palace of King Priam, I came upon a larger or large copper article of the most remarkable form, which attracted my attention all the more as I thought I saw gold behind it. In order to withdraw the treasure from the greed of my workmen and to save it for archaeology, I immediately had lunch break called, and while the men were eating and resting, I cut out the treasure with a large knife. I, it would, however, have been impossible for me to have removed the treasure without the help of my dear wife, who stood by me ready to pack the things which I cut out in her shawl and to carry them away. A dark Dutch archaeologist unearthed the remains of the lost city of Troy in Anatolia, as well as other numerous findings of the so-called Aegean civilizations. The treasures found w were named Priam's treasure and were acquired by several Amsterdam museums. These discoveries led to an explosion of talent in archaeology and captured the imagination of millions. Fascinating. And we do have five national focuses now. And it looks like Spain is not having a good time with a lot of rebels. Oh boy. But that's neither here nor there. Keep sieging them down, have a good old time, and aqua 
Attila is not looking good. Maybe we'll go to war with China next. We'll see what happens. I don't see how many more divisions we can pull around, or how many armies we can pull around, because the Chinese have got a lot of guys. Maybe didn't know that. Oh, looks like the French took a portion of Morocco as well, huh? All right, then. Whatever. That looks good for us. We don't want to piss off the French too much. And I guess Rabat will be next. I doubt we can get, kill them off yet. No, 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 no. We give it a little more time. And, oh, it's taking a while to get siege him down. Come on, and... Oh. Ah, good. Right before the end of the month. Nice. Very, very good. Very, very good. We do want to save up a, a little bit more money. But we're fifth in the world for great power status, even though we need so many more naval dockyards and bank some more capital ships, which should help us out. And also, Germany annex Bavaria somehow. And as you can see, they're no longer... We're not longer allied with them, which is very unfortunate. But overall... Not too bad. Let's see. In the UK is still trying to take out Hijaz. Other than that, not too much else has happened yet. And now, my friends, it's time to take a little expedition once again to the good old nation of uh, the uncivilized Qing Empire. Demand concessions. Actually, what do we want here? North or South Zhejiang, Yunnan, or West Canton? I couldn't even tell because we're demanding a concession. And you can't even tell that these are concessions, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, this is North and South uh, Zhejiang, just because I've taken these guys out before. I'd love to get Ningbo. Ningbo would be really good to get. North is not bad. I love the silk. Ooh. But I kind of want Yunnan just so it looks better. And they do have precious metals there already. And that's a lot of population. It gives even more access to expand into here. So, hmm. And we come over here. As much as I want to take this, because getting those ports would be really nice. Xiaoxing, Ningbo, Xiaoxing, Huzhou, and North uh, Hangzhou. That'd be really good to get, but that means we have to send a navy over here, and we don't always have a navy over here, so I think taking these three states would be okay. I think that'd be for the best. New man concessions of Yunnan. Nice. Will everyone accept? Colombia will not, but I don't care. Uh, I'll throw everyone in here, because that's fine, whatever. Everyone, including America, wants to come to China. Who doesn't love China? Oh, uh, you guys go in there. Actually, you guys go there. And then you guys head into Dali, maybe. Now we'll see what happens, and we are just getting rid of all of the Chinese soldiers. Nice. And then you and me, we're going to be Kunming. Oh, look at that! It is now 1880, my friends, and we're doing drilling and blasting just so we can make a little bit more uh, production of stuff. So, like, coal, sulfur, iron, and stuff like that. Very nice. Colonial negotiations are very, very good. Very, very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And you guys are going to head up there, and uh, go over there. Why not? We'll go there next. Awesome, awesome. Oh, this is taking out Portugal, too. Or Macau. Anshun. I guess we'll get Pingle or Pringle. I'll probably start calling that Pringle from here on out. Spain, now we're kind of good. I don't want to fight the French right now. Now without any other allies. Uh, I don't want to really head in the mountains. Let's do that. And Carlos Spain. Carlos Spain, where are you? There you are, my friends. Very, very good. And also, um... The French took out Al Rif, the Moroccan version of Al Rif, which is fine. Doesn't really matter to me too much. Where are their? Hold on, where are their armies? How strong are they? They're at 64. I mean, we killed off a few divisions. Don't get me wrong, a few armies, or one army, I guess technically. But hmm. Oh, they they actually. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. These guys were still at war, and these guys actually made the British lose. Not necessarily lose, but like you know, have a white piece. In my mind, making the British ha sign a white piece. That is really good for Hejaz. So, Middle Easterners can definitely withstand against the British, especially if the British are incompetent. Or just anybody, really, I guess, but still. It's not bad. Oh my gosh, this looks disgusting. We do have Dutch Morocco, which is nice. We need to get Sokoto and Mossi next, but we're setting ourselves up for endgame here, pretty much, at this point. This is middle game, but we're setting ourselves up for the very last part of the campaign, in which we are going to be saying maybe some bad words, having a good time, and then saying some more bad words, because... Having a global empire sometimes sucks trying to manage it. So, gotta love it. Got to love it. But our prestige is pretty nice, even though we have no points for colonizing, which really does suck. Um, we have taken up a good chunk of your territory. They will not accept yet, though. But, alright. Son, you're not allowed to leave. There you go. Oh, and there you go as well. Nice. Drilling and blasting. I love drilling. I love blasting. More roads. Cool. Is that going to be enough yet? They would. Yunnan is ours. Look, that is so good. Look how big Asia is getting. I love it. I love her territory. 
Uh, and we can expand the roads here as well and get some more. We have immoral businesses. Precious metals. Oh, sold precious metals for 450 pounds. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ, that's so good. Holy crap. Income, 1,500 pounds. Oh, I should have done this way earlier. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. Oh, man, I wish we could buy mercenaries. But that was extremely good. Holy cow. Well, everyone, uh, apparently, we got the Amsterdam Conference of 1880. The colonial powers of the world have gathered in Amsterdam to discuss the regulation of colonization and trade in Africa. The outcome has become known as the General Act of the Amsterdam Conference, formalizing the scramble for the African continent. After this point, any civilized country will largely be seen as justified in the aggression towards uncivilized African nations. We must civilize all of Africa. Which is unfortunate since, well, we can't really do much about our negative amount of, uh, colonial points. Colonial points. Look at this. We got some stuff here. The dutch Siamese Border Treaty. Siam includes within its borders a number of conquered peoples. Laotians, Khmer... Khmer and Vietnamese. A recent incident has brought to light an opportunity for us. Demand that Sam release these lands, which we can then incorporate into our Indonesia holdings or face our wrath. Darn it. They have agreed, but we got some infamy. The kingdom has bowed before our demand. Good relations have been restored. A wise move. Very good. Anything else? Sign the Geneva Convention. Might not be bad. Um, oh, claim Togo would be actually really nice. But end the monarchy in Madagascar? That'd be really cool as well. I guess maybe we'll try to get these guys in our sphere of influence as well now, maybe? Um, I'm not justifying on anybody, I forgot actually to, to justify on people, but I'd love to be able to do this, but we don't have the Dark Continent. But apparently, we're the ones who started the whole thing trying to scramble for Africa, which is actually really, really cool in my opinion. Um, other than that, let's see, I don't think we did anything else here just yet. Uh, let's see, Dark Continent, we need technology. Culture, revolution, counter revolution. So, we still can't do that, but we really probably want to start going for this research point so we can get some more and become very good, and apparently we're third in the world in terms of prestige. Very, very nice. Alright, so we weren't exactly like this far ahead, but I just realized that we can do this as well, and we can get effective total occupation. Very nice. Force the code to become a protector according to Article 33 of the West Africa Conference, which delineates the doctrine of spheres of influence. Might as well, right? Might as well. Uh, economic crash. Oh well, and look at this. Cool. What do people want? They want pro-military, secularized, lives affair, anti-military, plan economy, uh, good minimum wage, that's 2%, you guys are at 1.58%, low 70s, 4%, 0. 0.8, pensions, no, 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 and because we're making so much money, we'll go with this one, I'm actually giving out some people some subsidies as well, so, that's actually really, really cool, at least in my opinion, it's very, very cool, but whatever. I mean, as you can see, we're trying to get some more steel railroads, which would be very, very nice, but we could really use more money, hmm... Cool, do that, do that, and do that. Kevi, thank you very much. I'd like to kill these guys off so we can add them to our army. The Eastern Question. The Ottoman Empire has been in slow decline for much of the last century, but never has this been more apparent than in recent years. The Empire's hold on the Balkans is weakening, and this threatens to upset the entire balance of power in Eastern Europe as Russia and other countries will inevitably be drawn into the conflict. Many of the Dutch government feel that it falls upon us to call on the powers of Europe together and negotiate a settlement that will restore some semblance of stability to the area. Well, host of Congress, you bet we will. Give us that prestige, man. Do we lose a lot of prestige or something? Oh, maybe I saved... No? Oh, oh. Hmm. Maybe we lost a lot of prestige. I thought we... Hmm. I'm not really sure then. Romania? All right, Romania. Oh, let's sort this out a little bit better. Priority. Romania. There you are. Very nice. Right, and you guys are going to move over there. Planning for the Congress. Now that plans for the conference in Amsterdam are underway, Dutch statesmen are busy trying to determine what our stance on the issue should be. Some feel we should keep favor keeping the Ottoman Empire strong in the interest of preventing the Russians from expanding into the Middle East. This could potentially improve our relations with the Ottomans as well. Others believe stability in the Balkans should be the priority, even though this might come at the expense of the Ottomans in our relationship with them. Oh, and there goes the French going to war with Traza. Oh, Spanish Morocco's down there too. Look at that. Huh. Well, the Ottomans... They're secondary power, they're ranked 10th in the world. The Russians have already had quite a bit of influence down there anyways. Hmm. We could take out Egypt too, as well. Stability? The Ottoman Empire must be kept strong. They're already fairly weak. Oh! And I guess you guys are killing each other. Each other. Okay, well that's interesting. But stability in the Balkans, ooh. I think it's best for everybody we keep the Ottoman Empire strong. Just because I want that to be a, a, a weight against Russia, so. Because they're already pretty bad, so. It is what it is, though. Ammo, area, effect, calculations. Very nice, very nice. 
the Cyprus Convention, and ideas risen within the Dutch government that, could, that we could perhaps offer our support to the Ottomans in the upcoming Congress in exchange for release on Cyprus? Our support could make a great deal of difference for them, and the island's proximity to the Suez makes it all of strategic importance. The Ottomans could use all the support they can get, after all. Make the offer? We have no interest? Ah, make the offer, why not? The offer was... Deal is struck. The Ottomans have agreed to the lease of Cyprus. Now we just need to make sure that we do all we can to make sure the Ottomans are kept nice and strong. Nice. Poland, you're doing hopefully okay, not dying to the uh, Austro-Hungarians, but, eh, you know, time will tell. Time will definitely tell. Look at that. Cyprus. I'd love to have Cyprus. But we'll do the best we can for the Ottoman Empire. Look at all that. Hold on. With all that money we're making, and we're giving people subsidies and stuff for now, they can enjoy their lives for the moment. But can we build up our naval facilities anymore? Eh, here in Europe, not too much. Uh, over there, not too much. Over down here, maybe we could do that. It does cost quite a pretty penny to do this. Level 4 naval bases? Pretty important, I would say, to do eventually. Just because... Ooh, and this would be good to do as well. So we can build up some really good ships and get more colonial points. Ooh, Blue Water School? Very nice. Oh, and you guys are actually... You guys are meant to come up here to help them out. Just go to beta first. It's going to be done. There you go. Can we annex you guys yet? I'd love to be able to do that. Oh, Bahrain? Okay, let's see. Sokoto? Nope. Not yet. I mean, I wouldn't want to die either, but you know, it is what it is. Just, that was so good taking out China. That's probably one of the best places to make money, because there's so many people in China. So, oh! Keep the empire strong. The great powers of Europe joined together in Amsterdam to negotiate the future of the Balkans. Where the, there was much contention, ultimately it was decided that the Ottoman Empire needed to be kept strong, and any demands placed on it should not weaken its interests unduly. Few of the attendees were pleased, the Russians in particular, and even though the Congress favored the Ottomans, it remains to be seen whether they will bow to European pressure and uphold the Congress's edict. This is how it must be. They agreed to the demands. The Ottoman Empire sent word to the European powers that it will abide by the decrees of the Congress. This proves to the Dutch government they are serious about working with the rest of Europe to maintain stability. Good to hear. Great. Our relations will go down with the Russians, whatever. Get 70 more prestige. Nice. Nice. Ottoman Empire, we enjoy the Ottomans. Do we get Cyprus? We do want that least, though, right? Oh, okay, so then these guys all popped out. Actually, that's kind of okay with me. Um, the hell are those guys? Romania, we want Romania, too. I do like Bulgaria quite a bit, as well. Honestly, doing it all like this, trying to get everyone, influence in everybody, is probably a really bad idea, so we really have to focus on who we want, but oh well. I'm not super concerned about it right now. Actually, we're at war with these guys. Can we get a war goal? Yes. Yes, I don't want to wait any longer to take out other people, so. Nice. This is really good. Oh, new political party. Social Democratic Bond. Social Democratic Bond has been formed. Cool. Oh, hold on. What is France doing? French, oh, tries it. Oh, they had to mobilize for that? Hmm. Well, that seems a bit excessive, but whatever. Um, you guys are not too bad. We've got two artillery, so we're going to need a horse. Get some horse boys. Get some infantry. Get some more infantry. Two. One, two, three. Four. I'm considering five. The five. And we'll get an engineer as well. Another African army. We love Africans here, man. We love them. The Congress lease. Oh, the Cyprus lease. The Ottoman Empire has agreed to live up to its part in the bargain to hand over Cyprus. Excellente. We've got Cyprus, my friends. Build her up. Build her up. There's quite a few Greeks and Turkish people here. Who knew? God, it, 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 this is a fun campaign. Influence in Serbia? Serbia received a great deal of benefit from the recent Congress of Great Powers, and it was decided that the Netherlands deserves considerable some small influence in Serbia as compensation if we want it. Sure, why not? Serbia is a really cool nation. Ah, uh, Serbia. Serbia, where are you? Nice. As well as influence in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Absolutely. Influence in Greece. Absolutely. Greece. Where are you? There's not a lot of people that actually live in Greece. Compared to like other nations. I need to make more babies. Oh, Italy? Sure, why not? Well, I guess we're coming up here next. You guys, uh, let's see. Negotiating on behalf of our entire land and ne merely negotiating for themselves. Cool, which means we're still at war with these guys then. Oh, it's so nice. Build the Africans some roads. Now with 360 prestige, that's pretty good. That is pretty darn nice. Dutch Africa looking pretty nice. Oh, but we've been cut off. We have to take out the French or the Spanish. Or both. Why not both? We got a little bit of infamy. We do need to cut down our infamy, though. Oh. Okay. Not bad. 
But I do wonder, can we go to war with these guys as well? Ashanti? Oh, we have to justify on them. Uh, which we should be able to take them all out at one one battle. They took a little empire still here as well. Is there anyone else that we could take out, like, just manually? Morocco? Hmm. No, we have a truce with them as well, which kind of sucks, but I guess we'll see what happens. And now we have the Congo Conference. Italy called a conference in the scope of the Congo Conference on the future of the resource-rich region known as the Congo. The Italian rulers set up a philanthropic organization, the International African Society, and also the International Congo Society, and they're proposing to run the Congo region through it in an effort to bring civilization to the natives, to probably chart, research, and explore the region and to improve the lives of the natives. We're thinking about the natives here. Don't worry about their hands. The great powers of Europe have been called to vote and decide on the future of the Congo. If they will concede to Italy's wishes, if they deny the request, or if they wish to abstain from the decision, if we agree, we will be obliged to surrender any territories we currently possess in our region. We're in the region. Any country that owns territory in the Congo will also be asked to respect the decision of the conference by force, if not peacefully. We have our own plans for Congress to vote against it. You know what? We have Italy... In, well, we did have Italy in our sphere. I just literally took them out of someone else's sphere. And we're really good relations with them. So, their secondary power, they might become the 8th power. So, we will vote for Italy. And we shall see what happens very soon. And now, we do have an end to natural dies. If you like to read about that, this happens pretty much every campaign. If you like to read that, please go right ahead. But... All we have to do is be at peace, and we might get some option that Manando becomes cotton, c coffee, grain, or tobacco. Very cool. But we can go to war with Ashanti, because Ashanti is at war with the British. God dang it, the Brits. Ah. I wonder if we can... Oh, we can't go in there. Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close. Now we can go to war. Let's go. Go. No. You know what? Uh, no, thanks. Missionary executed in the Philippines. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Uh, oh, this cannot be permitted. I don't really feel like going to war with the Philippines right now. We'll come here first, maybe. But I want to get Kin Tampo. I want to go over there first, because we want we don't want them to do well here. that will be good. And we got some more guys here. And we do have 14 infamy, so at this point, I think... I don't know, I really want to cut down on the uh, potential amount of infamy we can get. Wow, what happened here? France is mobilizing. Oh, boy, what's going on in the war? In the world, Ashanti, Gold Coast, concession. They want a concession. I want everything they have, so we'll see. Take the capital, Congress Poland, sure, why not? Thank you. And we'll go to wall. Very nice. See you down quickly, guys. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Faster than the British can do. Even though we're not even connected to these guys at all, which sucks, but whatever. Hey, all the Europeans love Africa. We all love Africa here. Oh, that's a lot, guys. Moralist resurgence. If you'd like to do about that, please go right ahead. Let's go with more moralism, because we can. They've literally just dropped us in here. God dang it. Are you kidding me, man? Man, the British. Man, the British dudes. Well. I guess we can do this then. So much for the Ashanti. Goodbye, Ashanti. Well, could be worse. But actually, can we go to war with Mossy next? Oh, yeah, we can. There we go. Scramble for Africa. Timbuktu or what? Not bad. No. Uh, what would probably be better to do first. And then we can get Timbuktu. All right. Timbuktu second. So what? Thank you very much. All right. You know what? I thought we would be trapped, but apparently we are not. Look at that. Very good. And going to combine all these guys together over there. All right. So now, what do people want? Protectionism. You sure they want protectionism? What do the people want? Pro military, minimum wage, regulations, trinket pensions, 14-hour workday. Um, I'll give them. I'll put a good minimum wage. They can have a good minimum wage if they really want one. And they just sat there to die. Uh, so whatever. I We had an election, and I made us go back to become nationalists, so it is what it is. Whatever. It's fine. It's totally fine. I swear, guys. It's totally fine. No issues. Fada Ngorma? Oh. We'll accept it. Actually, with you guys. Oh, we can't go to war. I wonder if we can go to war with anyone else. Because the Germans are going to war with Gel Gelidi, British Suazi. An acquisition of Danish Tunis. Why do they want Tunis? I, mean, I guess everybody wants a little part of Africa. Oh, and it... Italian Africa... Italian Congo Free State. Oh my goodness. That is disgusting. Actually, we can't go to war with those guys too. Ooh, Loango. We have France right here. Loango. They're in the French sphere, which kind of sucks. I don't think we have anything else. Liberia's not... A native state, so France has done a really good job with these guys. Wolof is in the French sphere. Yeah, 
I think we're running out of places to take out, which is not bad for us. It's not bad at all, but we're starting to run out of places that we can take over. We might still go over here just because we can improve or get more dockyards. So that might be an important thing we can do probably next. And now, my friends, for the final part in this episode, we will go to Egypt. Even though, look at, there's Syria here. And apparently, Italy's going to war with Lebanon, which makes some sense, I guess. Uh, but Syria also exists here, too. I might consider going to war with uh, the Syrians eventually. And who is this? Who the heck are the Turkoman? 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 Turkmenelli? Okay, cool. But Egypt must die. Um, Upper Egypt? Eh, that's okay. We do get Aswan, which is not too bad. You get some more stuff down here. We can really make this really ugly. We can make this extremely ugly. I'm taking the Western Desert. But there's just more population, I think, down here. We just got this area. Which means that anyone who wants to come through here has to go through our lands. Or has to go through the desert. Which is actually a pretty good thing that we could probably grab, actually. So, I guess we'll take Upper Egypt. Because we want more cotton, I guess. Why not? We'll see what happens. Actually, oh, maybe we should spend a little bit more on our military, too. There you go. We'll see what happens. And you guys can head down there. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, I'm here just to kill off your armies, guys. That's my main reason I exist for now. Congress Poland, cool. And we're trying to influence a lot of people, but apparently the British are going to war with the Tukulor Empire as well. Oh, wow, that's a lot of annexations. Uh, Poland, though. Oh, we love the Poles. Nothing like a good Pole. So fifth in the world for military size. And I do want to go back to war with China. I love beating up China. China is so much fun. You, me, the Chinese... Oh, yeah, they got reinforced, huh? Well, if that's the case, we're both gonna come here then. No, sir, you may not have the Suez. It is ours. Please, thank you. Alright, Mexico is out of our sphere of influence, which sucks, but whatever. Come to Cairo, please, that'd be very good. And actually send you guys up north. Oh, hello. Goodbye. They still have some more soldiers, that's not good, but whatever. That's fine. Oh, my goodness. Oh! <laughs> Of course, the UK went to took out took our empire and as well Syria. Wow, we're gonna have a big old problem with the Dutch, with the Dutch, with the British here, aren't we? Yes, we are. You guys head over there. You guys head over there. You guys head over there. Good. So valuable this part of Africa. Nice. All right. So is that enough yet to kill them off? Nope. Definitely not enough. That's fine. How about everyone head down here? Find them all and kill them all off. Nice. Take the ca capital. Giza will be ours. Very nice, very nice. They have some more down there and some more down there, but it doesn't really matter to me too much. We'll do well with these guys. Oh, look at that. Another reform. Nice. So what do people want? Pro military? Yeah, not much here. Uh, trinket pensions might be really good for them. Oh, extended subsidies. We can, we can probably go with that. Oh, extended subsidies. Why not? We are giving them subsidies, which is not too bad. Oh, Dr. Cordial. Bribing officials. If you like to read about that, please go ahead. Bribe, bribe the way forward, that's fine, even though we're actually literally at war with them. Loango is gone. UK is mobilizing. I don't know why you have to mobilize your entire country, UK, but you know what? You guys do you. Hmm. A lot of the African uh, brigades, especially the artillery brigades, are not looking very good. That's alright, though. Sinai, populations go bye bye. Very good, very good. I guess coming to China, Dutch prohibition. Uh, I kind of like moralism just because it's funny. So, cool. Why not? And we're also, as you can see, finishing up steel steamers. And we have 1.25 million pounds, which is awesome. We're going to need a lot of money in the future. Loads of money, probably. I don't know why. But probably... Oh, did you break an alliance with us? I thought I was allied to them. Uh, would anyone like an alliance? I guess technically we are allied with the Italians, but that's not saying very much, I'll be honest. Japan, would you like an alliance? No. All right. France? No, Okay. Also, Germany, or I guess the North German Federation, tried to go to war with France. Well, they have socialists there. But then the UK got involved and they said no, so... Still, no Germany in 1884. Not yet, at least. Cool. Close down bars, that's fine. Cool. Alright. Very, very good. And what do we have here? Oh, okay. Now oh, it's gonna take a while. Have you nothing better to do? Become more liberal? Uh, that's fine. Oh, crap. Come on, guys. We don't have time to do this. Japanese Civil War. Whoa. Uh, guys, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, Italy. Yeah, that's Italian liberation. No, 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 no. You guys are crazy. All right, so we got that done. We got still steamers. America wants an alliance, which I'm totally cool with. You guys have done well. You guys come up here, though. And let's see if we can grab an alliance with someone else. Germans? No. UK? No. Russia? 
No, Japan. France. Well, looks like America's the only one that'll ally us. Which is whatever. Organic chemistry would be good to do. Um, I don't think we need to do any of this stuff. I might go with more business regulations, precious goods. I'll put, you know what, that's, it's only 4,600 score. Or research points. We'll get through that. We're blazing through that so fast. That's so nice. Oh! Nice. Oh, steel production, plus 5%. That's pretty good. How many research points do we get? Intellectuals, we have 2% of our population are intellectuals. We need more clerics, actually. Cool. And kill them off. Very nice. Very good. Nice. Um, how much more do we need to do for this one? Oh, we still need just a little bit more. Oh! Whoa! France became socialist. At the, at the same... No wonder Italy went to war with them. No wonder. No wonder. They became... National, they got national confusion. They lost a lot of prestige. Some plur, plurality. Child labor is illegal now. Um, anything else? Universal voting? Wow. That sucks for you guys. And they're pacifists, too, so... Wait, they're Milton socialists, but they demanded them to become pacifists. Huh. Hmm. Hey, but that put us in fourth place in the world for prestige, so... Nice. Do it again, guys. Just don't do it to us. Please. We literally give you all the reforms you want, so... Do me yacht. Uh, newspapers doesn't really matter too much. I never read through them. I know, like, Bo Cohen doesn't read through them either. He actually just lets them stack up, which... For me, I don't like seeing that, but whatever. Uh, Bulgaria. Hello, Bulgaria. Wow, France was knocked down to fifth. We're fourth in the world. They're below us. Nice. Ah, very nice. Nope, still won't accept it. All right. All right. You wanted this, guys. You wanted this. And we got some organized factories. Good. Ad hoc money, factory and efficiency stuff, naval stuff, army stuff. I mean, we could probably do some army stuff. Engineer support, um, morale and tactics. You know what? Just in case, we'll do that one too. Why not? It's always good to be ready for all that type of stuff. Even though we should focus a little bit more on industry now since we do have a little bit of time to do so. That's what we should be finishing up first. It's definitely a bigger army right here. Are you guys still not ready to give up, guys? Oh, they're ready to give up. Nice. That's looking not great. This is very weird how it's curved like this. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. I think we've done a tremendous job. We've got so much money now, and we can expand our military. But... I think that'll end us here for now. Oh my goodness, Italy's doing well. But before we leave, I do want to look at the population. And apparently only 5% of our population out of a total of 106 million are actually 5% are Dutch. With another 13, 14% are Javan, as well as Flemish are about 3.2%. So about, we can get rounded up to maybe roughly 8% of our population, maybe max has actually accepted cultures, which is obviously not very good. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably attack China some more. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.